Hi, this video will discuss third degree price discrimination. So let's recap the degrees of price discrimination we've already talked about. First degree, also known as perfect price discrimination. Second degree price discrimination, which also known as quantity discounts. And now along comes third degree price discrimination. What is this? This is companies charging different groups of consumers different prices. So if they can identify you based on some attribute that may be willing to pay more or willing to pay less for an item, they'll put you in that group and then adjust the price for that group. So here's some examples. But first, let's again define third degree price discrimination. Charging different prices to different consumer groups for the identical good. Okay, so everyone's getting the same size portion if we're at a restaurant or everyone's seeing the same, getting the same item. Okay, so these individual or identifiable characteristics include things like your age, sex, location, or time of use are all groups that can be identified as willing to pay more or willing to pay less for an item. So let's talk about the requirements needed if you want to third degree price discriminate. First, ability to set the price. Companies have to have market power, ability to influence the price and set the price in order to price be a third degree price discriminator. Next, they also have the ability to segment or group people into different consumer groups. So you gotta be able to identify what the groups are and separate them in those segments. Third and finally, you've got to prevent the resale of an item. You can't allow one group to turn around and sell it to another group, in which case then that higher value group wouldn't buy from you, they'd buy from someone else at a lower price. So can't let them resell it. All right, so some examples of third degree price discrimination. Different groups, different prices, okay? so. Here's a restaurant I like to visit called Cinnamon Indian Restaurant at East Carolina University. On Monday through Friday, they have a student lunch special, seven bucks with ID. Well, I'm not a fifth year student, surprise, surprise, and I don't get that seven dollar price break. They charge me ten dollars to get lunch at this Indian restaurant, all you can eat. But students, though, get a much, much better price than me. So they get a lower price. Why? They've identified students as willing to pay less at this restaurant. So to attract student business, they've got to drop the price for students. But this Indian restaurant is not the only one who practices third degree price discrimination. The local Hampton Inn uh, also practices price discrimination. Why is this? Because they have different prices for different groups. All right, so what are these different prices? Well, 119 is the standard price. Okay, that's the baseline that everybody gets. But if you can show a triple A, AAA is an American Automotive Association. If you're in that group, which is an auto club, you get, look, 10% off. If you can show an AARP, you're an older American, okay? I'm not yet AARP age, to point that out. Anyway, 10% off for those. And if you're a Canadian retired person, 10% off there. Another group, a state government employee, that I am, I am a state government employee of North Carolina, so I get, look, 20 bucks off or 20% off the price. Bam! So I got a different price. Or if you're a U.S. government employee, again, another 20% discount. So you don't see it on the screen, but also military has a price that's 101. Military group, another. Show your military ID, get you the lower price at the local. So to summarize then, Lots of instances of third degree price discrimination occur by companies who separate individuals based on identifiable characteristics. And it's not just hotels and restaurants, but also movie theaters also practice this, uh, where they give discounts to military, senior citizens, kids price to get into the movie versus the full fare adult ticket price. So. Lots of third-degree price discrimination out there. Why do companies do it? So they can make more profits.